Can knee braces cause breaks of the femur in the upper leg, the biggest bone in the body? We know knee braces more than half the risk of common knee injuries, but some riders claim a knee brace will protect the knee, but transfers the force to the femur in major impacts. While the femur is a very strong bone, these riders believe a knee injury is preferable to a fractured femur in these major accidents. So, do braces break femurs? There is tentatively some good news from the biggest knee brace study to date. With over 3,000 riders clocking up 40,000 hours of riding, there was only one femur fracture for a rider wearing knee braces compared to 42 knee injuries. It would be good to see more studies done in this area, but to me, this strongly suggests there is very little risk of a femur fracture from knee braces for the average dirt rider. So if riders aren't racing or doing massive jumps, then knee braces would appear to be a very sensible choice for all those minor to moderate impacts. Okay, so what about motocross riders? A quarter of the riders in this study were in motocross. So this study does suggest the risk of a femur fracture would appear to be low still. But ideally, we need more research on this so riders can make informed decisions. What about the anecdotal evidence? This suggests that femur fractures for riders with knee braces would appear to be more likely for the fast motocross riders and those getting a lot of air on big jumps. It has been argued that fractures occur at the expected spot where the top of the brace would push against the upper leg. In the absence of definitive research, let's assume there is a direct link and look at the pros and cons. Potential reasons not to wear knee braces. There is a small but potentially deadly chance a broken femur can cut the femoral artery. If it's a compound fracture, there is also a risk of infection that can be life-threatening. And while a lot of fractures just mean six weeks in plaster, a fracture of the femur can take a long time to knit and involve surgery that has a small but significant chance of dangerous post-operative infections. Some motocross riders argue the case for wearing knee braces due to the extra protection in all those smaller impacts that don't threaten the femur. Also, some believe the odds on a full and faster recovery are better for knee injuries than a broken femur. Me? <laughs> I'm not going to comment either way on these issues. You can certainly find stories which argue both sides of the case here. For example, pause here to read different accounts from two orthopaedic specialists. And just for the hell of it, here is an abridged reply from a knee brace manufacturer, Asterix, when asked about this issue. Obviously take this with a grain of salt, as Asterix would have a vested interest. What else? It's interesting to see that EVS have apparently introduced crumple zones in their web knee brace. The idea is it will break, hopefully before breaking your femur. Is this a good idea? Who knows? Without serious research into the forces involved, I can't help feeling skeptical about this, as EVS have not given any information on the research they did, if any. If the worst ever happens and someone has cut their femoral artery, here's the pressure point. If you save their life, hopefully they won't sue you for sexual abuse. If you choose not to wear braces, there is still a lot you can do to reduce the risks of a knee injury. Wear a heavy neoprene sleeve and a good knee guard that extends above and below the knee well into your boots. Develop your riding skills in cornering, jumping, balancing and leg paddling for enduro riders. Set up your bike correctly for your weight and height and get some bigger, grippier foot pegs, especially if you have big feet. Above all, get fit. 
Regular exercise will keep your weight down and tone those muscles that help to hold your knee together. Be skeptical of all information on this issue, including this dodgy video. Do your own research, make informed choices, most importantly, look after those knees.